Dr. Kenneth Stevens, a doctor from Oregon, um, wrote in an affidavit to the Supreme Court of Quebec at a time when they were considering the legalization of euthanasia. Um, he writes the following story. In 2000, I had a cancer patient named Jeanette Hall. Another doctor had given her a terminal diagnosis of six months to a year to live, which was based on her not being treated for cancer. I understand that he had referred her to me. At our meeting, Jeanette told me plainly that she did not want to be treated and that she was going to do our law, kill herself with a lethal, lethal dose of barbiturates. It was, very, it was a very much settled decision. I personally did not and do not believe in assisted suicide. I also believed that her cancer was treatable and that her pro prospects were good. She was not, however, interested in treatment. She had made up her mind and she continued, but she continued to see me. On the third or fourth visit, I asked her about her family and learned that she had a son. I asked her how he would feel if she went through with the plan. Shortly after that, she agreed to treatment and she is still alive today. Indeed, she is thrilled to be alive. It's been 12 years. For Jeanette, the mere presence of lethal assisted suicide has steered her, to, did steer her towards suicide. With medical advancements, palliative care, um, and if necessary, hospice care, and the inclusion of a living will, there is no moral reason, um, mo there is no morally just reason a person should commit suicide. It is furthermore immoral that a doctor, those that have taken an oath to respect life, should be the ones to end this life. A society built on the idea that suicide is a legal way out is a society that has a decreased appreciation for life. My opponent speaks of not wanting to see her grandmother on a machine. A living will takes away that, um, that forced um, option. She could die in a nursing home where she would be surrounded by her loved ones, but also given pain medication that would soothe her, her pain um, and keep her comfortable. Um, additionally, um, she talked about um, that ho places like hospice look at quantity versus quality of life. However, um, a hospice concept um, states very clearly that they are about the quality of life and not the quantity. Just as a baker put the cake back in the oven to finish cooking, human beings should be encouraged and supported to live their life until it is extinguished naturally. Naturally, This is why I, the negative, strongly negate the resolve. Euthanasia is morally just. Please vote negative.